What is going on, you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? We get to start off with a bang. The wheel of fate is turned. Even one action. Damn, nice jump five. Jump eight and jump five. Eh? You know what I mean. I'm sick though, well done. Oh, the counter mash. That was kind of dirty. Try to do it again. She was too far away. I'm surprised she got hit by that, to be honest. It wasn't really. Didn't really seem legit. Doesn't seem like she should have gotten hit by that. Woo! Oh, I was down with it for a moment. I think he was hoping he was going to be close enough to the bumper to dash cancel out of that overhead. Oh, that was such a risky roll. I can't believe he got away with it. This match so far is wild. Oh! He's getting too happy with the slide. And unfortunately, he gets punished for it this time. Now he's in a really bad spot. But... <laughs> Even he wasn't expecting that to hit. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That's gotta feel so bad for the bang player too. He just he sees her get hit and instantly cancels into the super and just knows the entire time like this is gonna be a verbal throw. Nothing good's gonna come from this. Although it would have been even more amazing if it wound up somehow being a counter hit throw. Interesting. Doesn't go for the palm. I guess wants to keep her close, but he didn't have any kind of setup off of it, so I wonder if he just missed something. Damn. Just dashes straight in her face. No care in the world. Gave her long enough to twitch. And clipped her ankles. Sets up the umbrella. He only has one shuriken left now. He goes for the double overhead, but she got hit by the first one. Oh, drops the combo. Okay, baits it out. Everything... He's gonna lose from this. What the hell was that side? Actually, I think the side switch wound up screwing her up. She's in danger. Can't bury her anymore, but she has the projectile set up. I, I think he's living for the moment. God damn it. I was about to start getting happy. Oh, Bang has just got a win. We're starting off with a win for Bang, a loss for Izanami. This is perfect. We're setting the stage excellently. And then... Izanami did Izanami things. This dude really... Like, I've never seen a Bang use 3C as much as this guy has used it. And it's kind of surprising because he hasn't really gotten paid for it enough to justify the usage. Ooh, gets the last seal. Worth spending some meter, but see, it's useful there. For sure, when you cancel it with the bumper. I mean, that feels pretty obvious. Yeah, oh, no, don't do this to me again! Please don't do this to me again. Okay, he had his burst, but Izanami has hers as well. Bang has all seals at 50 meter, though. Ooh, very nice float. Izanami thought he was coming down to the ground. But Bang can prevent himself from doing that. Thank God. Let's not have, let's try to avoid having two the same character multiple times in a row. But, dude. If she had managed to run that back again, I would have cried. Like, on air, in front of the millions of people watching at home. Tears, just ugly crying the entire time. Nice. I, I don't think he could have hit confirmed that. Interesting. I've never seen the DP co uh, combo like that. Oh. Azrael, my boy. Defense. Defense. Oh, got the fatal. Didn't hit confirm it. To be fair, 6C airborne fatal counter is super hard to hit confirm because the ground bounce is so small. And you usually let see like it's easier to hit confirm it off of that than it is to hit confirm the fatal counter. It's it's a really weird design. Incredibly questionable Oki, but okay. Oh made it whip! That's a Oh, 
Ooh, very well done. Super does so much damage. It does so much damage. Oh. As we always sloppy. Good. This guy is good on uh, smacking him out of a six C's, and that's definitely not really a move you want to use against somebody that has even halfway decent reactions. I mean, it's not a move you want to use as a neutral approach to begin with, because it is so slow. This Azrael just has no defense. And I'll be honest with you. So far, it doesn't seem like he has much offense either. Yeah, really. That Azrael surely left a lot on the table there, because he did not look like a leader rank at all. He looked like somebody who had just started playing the character. Because even his setups, like when he got knockdowns and whatnot, just, they weren't good. Like he went for that dash through Sentinel dump. It's just. Ugh. I guess it might be okay as an attempt to bait out uh, DPs, but I don't think the armor lasts long enough for Kagura. Like Kagura would just, it would armor like the first couple of hits, and then Kagura would just keep going, and eventually you get hit. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. That shouldn't have worked. That feels bad for Elephant Man. Oh, that is actually really lucky. If that A Sledge had whiffed, he would have gotten a full hit confirm off of it. Oh my god, the disrespect. Very nice bait. You can tell he's actually... I should have turned inputs on. But I'm almost positive he was just churning butter that entire time because he started like he was like standing up and crouching down so like when stuff like that happens when they stand when they're standing up crouching down and randomly instant blocking it doesn't seem intentional that usually signifies uh somebody's churning that hit from a mile away tager why are you so fat Sorry, don't got that defense. Rolled into it, could have confirmed that for the kill. But yeah, just, like I said, churning. We churn it non-stop, endlessly, and it didn't work a single time. It is deceptive, because there's definitely plenty of scenarios where churning does actually work against Makoto, but only against bad Makotos. I shouldn't say bad. That's that's not necessarily true. Makotos that are not accustomed to the matchup. Because there are definitely setups that Makoto users commonly have that work against everybody unless you have a... Com Whoa, what a bait! Is he dead? Hold up. This man could be dead. Okay. Well, I'm definitely dead now. Um, They just don't work against a character with a command grab as fast as Taker's. You can just interrupt her out of it. Same thing with Asriel. Like, a lot of Asriel's most commonly used block strings just don't work against Taker because he can command grab you through. And so that is something you just have to be familiar with and account for. And clearly, Elephant Man knew that. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Bat, bat, bat. Getting plenty of unlocks. Ooh, that's a bummer. Man grab doesn't rapid cancel it. No burst? There it is. I'm surprised he waited so long. <laughs> Susano just has the best hitboxes in the game. <laughs> It's like, you watch the move whiff and you're like, yes, I mean, it makes sense, because that, the pro like, the projectile part of it, I don't, I'm not sure if it actually is a projectile. It seems like it should be based on how it looks, but I'm not 100% positive on that. Um, I'm trying to get, like, zero repeats, but that's hard in this day and age. 
I mean, technically, there's definitely. I'm gonna make the argument that we didn't see Jin. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Oh no! Oh, like, cause it splat. The projectile kind of splashes outward, so it makes sense that the hitbox would not all just activate at once, and it would actually spread outward like that, so the outer parts hit later than the inner parts. But it's still, you, you see him slam down, you, you don't get hit, and you're like, cool, I'm gonna be able to punish this, and then BAP! Just bodies you. Are we not gonna see Jin again? Boy, online Jins are really not making the case that Jin is a good character. Okay, here we go, finally. We get at least some. Nice anti-air. Bad hit confirmed. Catches the roll, uses the meter, this should be it. I am somewhat surprised. Well, isn't this awkward? I'm very surprised he didn't just go instantly into the anti-air. So, I mean, it's not really an anti-air super, but the airborne ice arrows thing. Because that has, that has a ton of minimum damage. And not that I'm terribly well acquainted with Jin and all his specific numbers. But I feel like it would have killed if he just let that rock instead of going into the airborne. Oh my god, stop using the CDP, dog! Especially against a character with Mai's range. Like, she's too far away 90% of the time for that to work. No way. No, no way. Wait, she can get a double su Doesn't she get double supers in overdrive? Ow. Get it, Mai? Show me what's up. Uh, that's what I'm saying, man. There's so few. There's just no diversity. None. At all. There's just none. I'll go with this one. We'll go with this one. Get ourselves a Talkaka to send it off. If you haven't noticed, I am trying to keep these a little bit shorter. I'm starting to pay attention to the analytics, and I need to pay attention more. Because, I mean, like... What's the point of posting a 30-minute video if the average watch time is, like, 12 minutes, right? So I'm just seeing how things change if I do, you know, like, 15 minutes instead. Let's see what happens. So that's especially helpful for me, too, when I'm away at school. Because, that I mean, obviously, that means I get basically two videos instead of one. So it gives me more stuff to post. <laughs> uh, we're apparently not seeing a Taukaka. I wanted to see a Taukaka. Okay, there we go. at the end. We got to see the one combo. Okay, good punch. Not gonna get much for it because it did start off with a 2A, but still. Pushes to the corner, has the corner pressure, now has to be wary of the potential DP. Like, he's not doing it. I thought he would have done it right there. Right before she dashed in. And then it would have caught the dash in. If that was intentional, that was sick. If it wasn't intentional, it was still sick, but not quite at. Ooh, well done! I don't think that kills- oh, okay, it does. Whew. Just knowing Taukaka, knowing her damage, I was a little scared that I was gonna leave him at a sliver of health. I cannot believe that worked out for her, but she wasn't ready for the airborne stuff. Okay, punish, yes! How much damage she gets? Yeah, she doesn't have much overdrive, and she wasn't prepared for the overdrive to end. Now she's cornered. This is really bad. She's dead. He's dead. He's dead. This is Kagura damage. That super does so much. Does that have the highest minimum damage? Nah. I mean... With kind of like an asterisk, Susano with all of his unlocks, likely has the highest minimum damage. 
since his uh, distortion is affected by how many unlocks he has. So I'd say his probably has the most. But yeah, that has a lot, because that did around 1,500, right? And I know Asriel's always been considered, like, damn damage, but his only does 1,200 minimum. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. I apologize that, again, it's like the same, it's the collection of just, like, five, six characters. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it, I'm sorry.